Fun fact about last week's video, I don't know if you saw it, it was where we did where we put me with my R5 against an amateur photographer using uh, an iPhone. And there were some comments from the video that we should have, you know, switched. She should have used my camera and I should have used the iPhone. Or we should have taught the amateur photographer a few things and stuff like that. So here's the thing about that video. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a total fun, silly video that we were putting together. The amateur photographer was a friend of mine and we were just having fun because everyone does the, you know, amateur photographer with a good camera and the professional photographer with an iPhone. Everyone does that. So we were just having fun. In case you missed it, the background music was chicken music. <laughs> Should have been a kind of a clear giveaway. And anyways, the video was a lot of fun and some people got a lot from it. It just, it kind of showed that the camera is really good regardless of who you are using it. Anyways, despite that, that's not why you're here. You're here to see this really cool feature, uh, this little really cool Lightroom hack that I learned. And I actually wanna thank a subscriber for this one because he emailed me in and told me all about it. So I tested it and it works pretty freaking good. So let's get into the video. Will Simpson here and welcome back to Exploring Photography. Today we are going over a quick little Lightroom masking trick on how to kind of refine the trees in the sky. Now this isn't foolproof and it's obviously better to do it in Photoshop, but if you only use Lightroom or you're not really familiar with Photoshop, this is a quick and easy way to do it that will suffice. Here we are in Lightroom on this photo that I took up in the Blue Ridge Mountains. We're gonna go ahead and slap one of my presets on it, which are available on my website. I'll link them down below in the description. We're gonna use Summer Breeze. We're okay, good. And we're just gonna do a few minor adjustments. We'll darken it up a little, lower the clarity, lower the dehaze, make it a little softer, warm it up just a bit. Now, let's say we wanna mask out the sky, but here's the problem. We have all these trees, and generally masking leaves holes. So let's go ahead and press the masking and click Select Sky. Now, if we zoom in, we'll notice that we have pretty decent, but if we're missing some, and some is overlaying on the, the, the leaves and stuff like that. So it's not terrible, but it could be better. So let's go ahead and zoom out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click invert. So we're gonna invert this mask, and then if we zoom in again, you'll notice that there's a little bit of overlay of the mask on the sky. Now we're trying to mask just the leaves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select that mask, press subtract sky. You'll notice that it kind of refines it a little bit. So here's the before, after. Notice that little haze around the edges here. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Before, after. Makes it a little bit better. We're gonna add another one, subtract sky. Now you'll notice if you look here, this little hole right there, before, after. Starts to get a little bit better. And then let's do one more, subtract, select sky and it just refines it a little bit more. Now you can go too far where it starts to add back in pieces, so get it to a point that's good and then call it done. That is pretty much good. Two or three times is generally okay. Then what you're going to do is click the three dots on the main mask, click duplicate and invert, and boom. You have an almost, almost perfect selection of the sky. Obviously there will be points that it isn't perfect. Like I said, this wasn't a perfect technique, but it is good for a quick fix or just enough. Now, if you wanted to refine it a little bit more, you could just go subtract brush. And you see right here at the bottom where we'll just brush this away and it's really easy to fix. But that is a kind of an easy way to refine the mask. And let's make the adjustment. Let's make it really dark and moody. Good. And there we have it an easy way to select the sky and kind of refine around the leaves and the, the tree limmy areas. And to wrap up, I want to just thank Mickey, who is the subscriber who commented and let me know about this trick. This is awesome. I hope this helps you out. Um, so don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. If you have any questions, you know where to find me and I'll see you guys next week. But I have, yeah, I have about an hour to get this edited so I can post it to you now. Anyways. See you guys next week.